Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to host an online brainstorming session with Padlet. Let's go ahead and take a look here. I'm using Padlet.com, and in this screen here, I'm already signed into my account, and I have this blank canvas that I've set up for a brainstorming session. And you can see here my prompt for the group is to share your ideas for future podcast guests. And down here, you can add a post or just double click and write a post. And let's say we want to have David Ortiz as one of our podcast guests. And we'll say he would be an incredible guest to talk about baseball and let's publish that and so we'll have that one there and let's say we have another option here and we'll say we're gonna have michael jordan on our podcast it would be great to hear his thoughts about the nba today just don't take his advice about draft picks. It's a little joke for those of you who are basketball fans. Now let's publish that one as well. So we have a couple of ideas here. Now I want to show you what you should do as a teacher to set this up for your students. In the upper right hand corner, let's modify this Padlet. And you can have attribution turned on or off. You might want to have comments so that the class can write comments about each idea. You'll notice here I have the profanity filter turned on. But I also want to save that. And then let's take a look at this option for reactions. And here we can say we want to vote an idea up or down, or we want to give likes on a particular post. And so I'm going to have the likes turned on. And that way, when students like a post or an idea, it will keep a tally of those for us. So let's save that and close it out. And I want to share it now. And let's take a look at our privacy settings. This one is secret, meaning it won't show up in a search. Let's copy that link to the clipboard and I'll open it up in another tab so you can see a student perspective. You'll notice here, we also have the option to share it to Google Classroom as well. So let's take a look at the student perspective right now. Let's put that student view up here on the screen and they'll see here the couple of ideas that I've already put on and they can vote for an idea. They can say they like it or not like it. They also have the option here to now write in their own ideas and they might say that they want to have a completely different guest on. Maybe they want to have Larry Bird on our podcast. It would be great to hear some stories about growing up in French Lake. Oops, spell it correctly. There we go. Now, we'll publish that. And students can, of course, vote for their own idea. Now, we could also have students comment on that idea and write a comment here and say, I'd also like to hear about his thoughts on playing minor league baseball. And so we can close that out and we can see that now there's a comment on there as well. And over here on my teacher screen, I can see 
the updated version here and I can even see the comment that was added. And if I need to, I can delete the comment so that it's no longer shown. And I can do that because I'm the owner of this Padlet. Now I should point out that in this particular instance, I shared it in a manner so that anyone could write on it if they had the secret link to it. But in a real classroom setting, you might want to change it and say that only members are allowed to comment on it, or you might want to even put in a password option as well. So that's how you can create an online brainstorming session by using Padlet.com. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.